Hi everyone, it's Catherine again here with Coupon Car Club and I know I said I was going to go on a little hiatus um, but today is another woo, Free Stuff Friday! So today in today's video I'm going to be talking about all the free stuff that you can get or do or try to do uh, during our time here in quarantine during this COVID-19 situation. So make sure you stay tuned. Hi everyone, it's Muffins. <laughs> uh, for me. Hi everyone, it's Catherine again. Originally $6.99. Um, when you see this, it's Free Stuff Friday. Alright, so let's get down to business. There's so much that I have to cover and talk to, so I'm going to try to get it done as quickly as I can. Um, remember that I am not sponsored by any of these people, so if any of you people are watching and you would love to sponsor me, I would not mind. <laughs> but anyways, um, first we're going to start off with the free video uh, streaming sources. So some of the streaming sources are allowing you um, to watch uh, their free, watch their programs for free just by signing up um, and they're not going to be charging you during the whole time that we're in quarantine. Um, there are some states who are going to be going past. Um, April so like my state I'm in New York City um, we're actually going to be quarantined until April 30th um, but there are other states like uh, I believe it's Tennessee or Kentucky they're actually going to be quarantined until September 19th so um, we need to make sure we're keeping ourselves super busy um, here's just a list of the video uh, streaming services that are going to be free um, it's going to be Crackle, um, IMDB, IMDB TV uh, Hoopla, Internet Archive, uh, Canopy, Plex, Pluto TV, Roku Channel, Tubi TV, Voodoo, and Amazon Kids. Um, so definitely you guys can sign up for that stuff. It's going to be free for just that time frame. Um, so make sure that you uh, check that out. Um, and you know, make sure that you look at all the great stuff that, that, that's going to be there. So next up, I'm going to be talking about the free books. Um, I know a lot of people have more transitioned into audiobooks, um, but there, um, a lot of these list of sources that I'm going to have here, they're, um, they're going to have regular books that you can just read online or on your mobile devices, or, um, you can definitely listen to their audio, um, books. All right. Um, do keep in mind that I will have a list, uh, a link below of all the stuff that's here. So if you don't want to listen to me talk, you can just simply click on the link and check that stuff out. Um, but uh, so the free book flicks list is Authorama, Scribe, Jolster, Project Muse, What a App. Is it What a App? I feel like it's a different name. I think I'm saying it wrong. I'll probably put the name up here, right here. Um, I'm sure I'm saying it wrong. I'll double check that later. But um, Project Gutenberg, um, Library Vox, Many Books, Book Club, Goodreads. I love Goodreads. I actually use that on a regular basis. Um, Goodreads is actually my favorite. You can actually make a list and a program, a plan of like throughout the year of how many books you want to read. So if you want to read one book a month, you tell them, hey, listen, my goal is to do 12 books. Um, and then it tracks every book that you read. So yeah, my favorite one I recommend is Goodreads. Um, Smashwords, Dilly Libraries, and Book Lending. Do keep in mind that some of this stuff is um, good for kids as well. Um, I will have some kids stuff that is going to be coming up. So don't worry from my parents. You're not going to be alone on this situation. Um, next up, this is my favorite part. I was so excited when I found about this. And I was just like, wow, I didn't even know that this was going on. So I'm definitely going to pick a day, probably Thursdays or Fridays. We're just going to be doing this. Um, and it's the free museum and live cam. So your kids have the opportunity of going to the zoo without going to the zoo. Um, one of the aquariums in Monterey Bay Aquarium um, is allowing you to see their animals live. They have the cameras. Um, they are only open from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. Um, so make sure that you set aside some time so the kiddos, or if you want to see the animals, 
um, you can watch them live from your very own home. That's like going to the museum, but not really. They're giving us the opportunity to have some kind of sanity. <laughs> um, two other zoos that are allowing us to stream is going to be the San Diego Zoo and uh, the Houston Zoo. So make sure you guys check that out. Um, I think it's going to be great. I can't wait to do it with my kids. So I'm super excited. Now the point and the parts that all the kids hate. Um, right now there is a lot of free learning tools going on. Um, so if you have little, little ones who are not in school yet, like the before preschool and toddlers and, you know, the learning process, um, it's a little harder to narrow down on what they need to learn. Um, there are different sources that have backup plans and uh, sources that can help you. So the free learning tools are Scholastic Learn at Home, Khan Academy. Now, Khan Academy has two different ones. There's Khan Academy for the older kids. So my oldest... Um, the 14 year old, he has Khan Academy, and then the baby uses Khan Academy Kids. Now with Khan Academy Kids, they implement um, uh, learning with, uh, what is it called, simple, simple something, simple something from YouTube. Um, they have like a lot of songs and dance stuff that they do, so they integrate the learning with that, and it's so amazing. We, we love doing it together, and it's so cute. Um, Age of Learning, Prodigy Math, and Mystery Science. So you can definitely find out there are probably more, way more sources of learning stuff um, on the internet. And one of the other ones I'm going to be talking about has over 250 plus um, activities, fun things, and crazy stuff that you can do with your kids while you're stuck on this quarantine. Um, it's called kidsoutandabout.com. Um, it just gives you an overwhelming uh, amount of stuff to do while you're at home. Um, so you can definitely, you know, check that out um, and see all the great stuff that they do. They even have a plan of cooking, arts and craft, um, and a virtual event priming. Um, so, like, there's so many different things. And if you decide to continue to homeschool your children, uh, there is a section for that, too. So you guys definitely need to check that out. I think that that's the most amazing thing to do. Um, and, you know, it's great. <laughs> All right, so next step is free music. Um, so if you guys haven't seen, there's a lot of people on Facebook and Instagram, you know, doing their own music thing. Uh, the top two things that um, I'm going to be talking about is on Instagram. He's a DJ by the name of D Nice. I'm going to have his link uh, down below. You can check him out. Um, I believe it's every Tuesday or Saturday, Tuesday and Saturday night. He does a live stream. Um, he just plays feel good music. He is so amazing. Um, make sure you check it out. If you guys did miss it, uh, last Saturday, Little John and uh, T-Pain had a versus party, so they both were DJing um, against each other in their live stream, and it was actually super amazing. I'm not too sure if they're actually going to continue that every Saturday, so yeah, yeah. check it out if you can. Um, if not, there's tons. I'm pretty sure somebody screen recorded it, and there's reviews on it here on YouTube, so check that out. All right, and then we have fitness apps. Yay! So, you know, ever since we've been in quarantine, I actually have not been working out. Because I like going to the gym. But, um, hmm, that's just me. But if you do and you like to, you know, work out at home, um, Gold Gym is, uh, they made a new app. Um, and you can definitely just download it and it gives you free exercises. So you can do exercises at home which is great and amazing because a lot of those exercise apps you have to pay for them i know i have one app that costs i think it's like 95 dollars for the year something like that 150 dollars something crazy and that's really it so now i gotta pay that but anyway um next is also uh planet fitness planet fitness is actually going live on facebook um daily at 7 p.m eastern standard time so if you want to work out with everybody else in quarantine time um definitely uh check it out on facebook and as you know i will always have the link down below all right um last but certainly not least um let's talk about binge worthy shows 
Now, I'm only going to recommend uh, the shows that I really like, um, but you can definitely, you know, put down in the comments down below, what's your favorite binge-worthy show right now in quarantine? <laughs> um, one of my favorites is Bar Rescue. Um, check it out. Um, it's about a guy named John Taffer who goes to different bars and he picks them up. He helps the owners make sure that they can get revenue and it's super, super amazing. Um, he does have a spin-off show called Marriage Rescue. It's it's okay. It's it's not that bad. Um, you know, I would definitely check that out. Another binge worthy show is Wife Swap. Oh my gosh, it's getting crazy out there. I don't even know what season that they're on. And every season it gets crazier and crazier. My favorite episode was the one where the woman was the firefighter and the other wife was like uh, fully domesticated and they switched. The husband who had the domesticated wife, oh honey, mm -mm. you have to see that one. That's a good one. All right, um, you know I have to talk about it. You know I can't let this go by without seeing it. It's Tiger King on Netflix. You have to see it. If you have not seen it, I need you to see that. I need you to see that show. <laughs> I need you to see that docu-series. It's so amazing, it's so fun, it's so great. Um, I can't, I can't stop hating Carol Baskin, and if you don't understand why, you need to watch it. Um, next up is Next in Fashion. So Next in Fashion is kind of like a different step for Project Runway. Um, it's, uh, I think it's based in the UK, if I'm not mistaken, and it takes designers who were, who worked for bigger designers, and it gives them a platform to start their own uh, line and get themselves uh, recognition. But it's very similar to how Project Runway used to be, where they would give them challenges and they would do it. Um, they're not actually going to do crazy challenges like those unconventional challenges. Um, but they do have to sew and sketch and do all of that stuff. Um, so it is pretty similar to Project One Way. Um, but I, I kind of like it a little better. But I am still missing my Heidi and Tim. And I love them so much. And speaking of Heidi and Tim, um, they actually have a new show on Amazon Prime, which is my next show that I'm going to recommend, which is called Making the Cut. Now, oh my gosh, me being someone who went to design school, making the cut was like my absolute favorite because it actually showed the, the real background work of how fashion design really goes through because even though it's a competition, um, you have to make something called a tech kit. And I was just like, oh my gosh, that was what I was missing from Project Runway. Because not everybody that designs, who like sketches and makes stuff up, can actually be a great sewer. They're not like 100% sewer because they don't. They teach you how to sew in design school, but it's like it doesn't have to be immaculate. You actually, what you do is you sketch it out, you make what's called a tech pack, um, and it just like you send it um, to the sampler to make make the, the the tech pack and then you do adjustments when you get it back because it's not like you know you're in a short time frame and sometimes you just don't have the time to do all the sewing and that's why you hire different people to do certain things like and I was just like this is the show that I needed so if you're in design school or if you've ever been into design school make the cut is the real better project runway so you guys better check it out other shows to check out is you know it SVU Blue Bloods, um, uh, I heard Artsak, Artsak, I'm pretty sure I'm pronouncing it wrong, it's super good, so you guys make sure that you check it out and you know, let me know what shows you want to watch, and I think that's it for Free Stuff Friday today, so I hope everyone is going to have a great weekend, you know, so thank you so much for listening and watching, and for my friends who would like to join my group, I'll have the link down below. And if you want to have a digital meeting or you just want to chat, all you have to do is send me a quick email at couponcartclub at gmail.com. All right, beautiful people. I need to go, but I got to. So, I'll see you guys soon. Bye.